पहले पूछ लें पहले जिसे आवाज आ रही है हेलो कैन यू सी दिस स्लाइड यस सर वेट फॉर अ मिनट Can you see this slide? Yes, sir. This phagocytosis wali slide hai. Phagocytosis wali slide hai. Ji, diagram bani hui hai iske upar. Ha. What about next? Move nahi ho rahi. No, sir. Not moving. <laughs> Okay, doesn't matter. You just keep on listening. What it's the material. The slides sometimes they help you. I usually use very small number of slides. More so, you just listen to me, and then if if you can see this. So we were talking about uh, that. What do you need to remember for the previous lecture? There were ten, twelve points, and that was. i have already explained to you the cellular components which cells are involved in the innate immunity and the cells which are involved in the are you listening me yaar ye kuch na to ye pata chalta hai ki koi slide pe bhi pata nahi aap unmute hi rakhe main saath saath baat kar Hello. Hello. Anybody? Yes, sir. Day? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sorry, there is some uh, some problem with the connectivity and uh, or some uh, something in the, the technical issue. Uh, but just listen to me, and that uh, I was telling you that there are ten, twelve points which you need to remember in the last session, and then. i was telling you that in innate immunity or adaptive immunity immunity you need to remember the cellular components the cells which and the uh, soluble proteins these are the two important thing barriers they are not that important it's best for the completion of the subject <clears throat> but the different cells which are important you need to remember them and i was telling them that cd4 cd8 they are the helper cell and cytotoxic t lymphocytes whereas cd19 they are the uh, plasma cells which produce immunoglobulin and that immunoglobulin the role of immunoglobulin in that in, in this uh, humoral immunity or antibody mediated so those uh, numbering you just remember otherwise you don't need to remember the next uh, thing is which if you see this slide that there is a uh, phagocytosis one of the mechanism what in in we are talking about the innate immunity uh, we hum sirf is pe hi baat kar rahe hain and one of the mechanism is phagocytosis you all know phago means an engulfment cyto means cell and a condition in which there is engulfment and these cells which are responsible for engulfment they are many which are circulating in the blood as well as the tissues you are listening to my voice if you don't see the slide hello yes sir are, are you getting my voice आवाज तो आ रही है आपको जी सर आ रही है आवाज आ रही है आवाज आ रही है लेकिन तस्वीर नहीं आ रही है जी अच्छा। तस्वीर भी आ रही है आपकी है जी सर आपकी तस्वीर भी आ रही है अब मेरी तस्वीर आ रही है लेकिन उसकी आपकी स्लाइड्स की तस्वीर नहीं आ रही है चले कौन सी स्लाइड नजर आ रही है आपको पहली स्लाइड वाली जो चीज आपको सोचनी है वो ये है कि वेन द फॉरन बॉडीज और दिजेंट्स और एनी थिंग which is not required to the body or which is not relevant to the body and you have to degrade it destroy it 
the mechanism of destruction i told you that the cells they either circulate in the blood or they circulate in the uh, tissues for example whenever there is anti any antigen what happens is the inflammation starts so uh, forget about uh, uh, the inflammatory process we'll talk about this that a little later one thing is phagocytosis if you if you divide this word into it's a condition in which their the cells they engulf phago means engulfment autophagy for example the the when, when uh, something uh, you eat yourself or your own cells that is called autophagy phago means engulfment the cells they have got receptors on their surfaces i told you and those receptors they recognize the foreign element or the antigens or the substance we call microbes or anything so anything which is the invader you you do not call it antigen always for example if there is a salmonella infection salmonella is not an antigen it has antigen on its surface so the entry of microbes or non microbes leads to number one recognition of cells in the body present in the body in the blood or in the tissues by the receptors on their surfaces whether they are present on the plasma membrane or they are present in the endoplasmic uh, or uh, uh, this uh, endosomal membrane or uh, inside the cytoplasm so recognition so first step is the engulfment there is an entry and after the entry of the microbes that is that joins with the lysosome and that lysosome is a digestive enzyme and those enzymes they lead to formation of phagous lysosome and lysosomes they lead to degradation or destruction of the antibody antigen or the foreign substance or the micro ab aapko slide aa rahi hai che no bilal ami ji sir antigen presentation wali slide aayi hai ab aa rahi hai ji change ho rahi hai ab pehli slide aa rahi hai aa rahi hai change ho gayi जी जी चलो ओके ओके बी विद मी एंड इफ देयर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम यू लेट मी नो सो आई वाज टेलिंग यू कि फेगोसाइटोसिस में होता क्या है देयर इज एंट्री ऑफ अ माइक्रोब और अ फॉरेन एलिमेंट और एनीथिंग जो व्हिच इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बाय द बॉडी मे बी अ पैथोजन और मे बी अ नॉन पैथोजन नॉन पैथोजन डजंट मीन इट इज नॉट प्रोड्यूसिंग डिजीज फॉर एग्जांपल डस्ट यू डू नॉट कॉल इट अ पैथोजन बट इट कैन कॉज एलर्जिक राइनाइटिस और एस्थमा और मेनी अदर डिसऑर्डर्स toxins if there is a bite by a wasp it will introduce a toxin into your body and there will be a response particularly rashes or even sometimes uh, if there is a snake bite there is anaphylaxis so all these uh, which are not required by the body what happens is the, there is a war in between the immune system and the invaders you can call it so how do they handle number one is the phagocytosis engulfment joining with the lysosome formation of phago lysosome and then that lysosome which is a digestive enzyme it leads to degradation and of the uh, invader so the residual body is expelled out and the other material is digested so this is how the uh, the invader or anything which is not for it for a foreign is uh, destroyed एक और तरीका है डिस्ट्रक्शन का अगर आप ये लाइंस देखें तो दिस इज इंफ्लेमेटरी प्रोसेस सो आई टोल्ड यू लास्ट टाइम दैट देयर इज अ नॉर्मल रिस्पांस दैट नॉर्मल रिस्पांस सम टाइम इज नॉट द पेशेंट कैन नॉट एलिसिट इट पेशेंट कैन नॉट डिस्क्राइब इट बट सम टाइम्स द इंफ्लेमेटरी प्रोसेस और इंफ्लेमेटरी रिस्पांस टू एनी सब्सटेंस इज विजिबल एज यू नो ऑल द कार्डिनल साइंस ऑफ इंफ्लेमेशन and those signs they are in fact they 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 are good luck for you that you you that aap log you come to know that there is some infection and uh, one can go for treatment but this inflammation has got a role in the immunity the role of inflammation is this is a healthy skin what happens is you can see it this is a healthy skin and this uh, this 
when they enter what happens is this uh, the tissue macrophages they release certain proteins and those proteins they lead to vasodilation and the entry of fluid and the cells other cells like polymorphs or neutrophils sometimes the macrophages they handle it by themselves sometimes they recruit the neutrophils and those neutrophils once they recruited they also play a role in dealing with the inflammation or limiting the inflammatory process and finally uh, there is a healing process so there is a clot formation this all we have already gone through it so phagocytosis or phagocytosis is a mechanism or a process but the cells involved i already told you that in the blood they are the granulocytes and uh, in the tissues there is macrophages and the third thing is the dendritic cells or antigen presenting cells dendritic cell is one cell which has got the capability or capacity to uh, to present an antigen as the word is very clear they catch the antigen they take it away to the uh, other cells for example here it takes it to the t helper cell and that helper cell become activated to destroy it to the evil so antigen presentation means the antigen is captured by the cells and which are the antigen presenting cells the most important is the dendritic cell the other cells are i told you last day as well the natural killer cells they are they have got many functions to perform so this is one of the questions which can also arise that what are the anti cells so you need to give the morphology the functions i told you last day as well whenever there is a question like that uh, write a note on antigen presenting cells you have to write down the names and you can write down the process of antigen presentation and the antigen presentation is that uh, the surface of all these cells whether it is dendritic and k cell or other cells which are present in the tissues uh, even your uh, b cells or which are coming from uh, birds of africa in fact all these cells they are lymphoid in origin from so bone marrow they come into circulation so they you call them lymphoid lineage cells or lymphoid pro the progenitor cell is the lymphoid thing or lymphoblast you can see the bone marrow so but uh, the, uh, the differentiation into t cells and b cells it that is the development and maturation if it occurs in the bone marrow you call it, uh, in the birth of fabrics you call it b cells and if it occurs in thymus you call it t cells that is also called primary development and maturation but we will talk about that a little later the dendritic cells nk cells and other cells um, uh, they can capture the antigen i have already told you even mast cell they can also perform the function so antigen presentation is one function of these cells they also release other uh, soluble proteins or uh, the other proteins uh, which play a role in the immunity well uh, these are what i was talking about the third component of innate immunity one was the uh, physical and chemical barrier the other was the cellular components from which i told you the cells that circulate in the blood that is uh, already uh, known this granulocytes three types of granulocytes the cytoplasm has granules so they are called granulocytes they are also called polymorphonuclear i'm repeating it just for a revision so that you should recall them but the third component of innate immunity and same are the two for the components of uh, adaptive immunity the cytokines the principal source of cells as is written over here can you see this slide now you can see yes sir ji can you see it ji sir okay this the cytokines of the immune immunity are these are four or five types of cytokines for example tumor necrosis factor so these uh, uh, cytokines to uh, uh, tumor necrosis factor number one number two different types of interleukin interleukin 1 interleukin 12 interleukin 10 6 15 18 i'm sure all of you know what is ectoderma do you know what is ectoderma hello 
Hello. Anybody who can answer me, what is the actor? Sir, yes, sir. Sir, injection. Article okay, use or right. That is an injection which is interleukin-6 inhibitor. Yes. So again, you can say this immune process, the coronavirus is a foreign substance which has entered into body leading to inflammatory and a very um, the uh, vulnerability or you call it uh, the severity of illness. It's very high and this is interleukin-6 inhibitor. So remember, if uh, you must remember it, that ectoma is a very costly injection. The four injections are given to the patient, but if the patient is on ventilator, there is no need to give ectoma. Ectoma injection can only be given to, to those cases who have got severe inflammatory response, but they are not on ventilator. So because it, does, it has got nothing to do with oxygen saturation. It can only stop the, it's an interleukin-6 inhibitor. So it can slow down the inflammatory process and that inflammatory process is going on the mucosa of the lungs or the trachea. So, wo aapko rok sakti hai. so ectoma jo hai, wo mild cases may be dene ki zarurat nahi hai, mild to moderate, but it, they, are, they should be given when the patient is on oxygen and in the ICU or inflammatory process is very, very uh, severe. So, just to slow down, you give IL, I, interleukin-6 inhibitor, that is ectoma. So, um, uh, so one was tumor necrosis factor, other are the different types of interleukin, 1, 12, 10, 6, 15, 18, these are different types, and the principal cell source, all um, interleukins, they are secreted by the macrophages, and these T cells, NK cells, tumor necrosis factor, obviously, this is macrophages and T cells, interleukin, macrophages and neutrophils, macrophages and dendritic cells, macrophages and T cells, macrophages, 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 these are the, and the third uh, uh, cytokine is the chemokine. This chemokine is uh, from the endothelial surfaces and macrophages. They also attract different leukocytes for chemotaxis, it is written over here. Chemokines, chemo is the word from chemotaxis or attraction. Uh, so this uh, soluble protein, uh, has got uh, the capacity or capability to attract the uh, cells which can deal with the enemy. So TNF, interleukins, and another thing is interferon. I, uh, this interferon, IFN, gamma, beta, or um, uh, this uh, alpha. So these interferon, in fact, this is again a protein, remember, this interferon injections, they are given, they are given for the treatment of anybody who can tell me. Uh, I'm sure uh, you people might have uh, some cases of uh, chronic liver disease. So interferon is a protein which is produced by the NK cells, NK cells which and girls virus so virus inside the nk cell once it is there it has got the capability to produce interferon and that interferon is used in the treatment of hepatitis b virus so remember virus engulfment by the nk, NK cells and the release of proteins by the nk cells or natural killer cells you call interferon different types of interferon are there and you you give them for treatment of certain diseases as well. So another one is the complement. The complement, uh, I, I, I won't go into much details. Uh, you, you might uh, have uh, studied it in the subject of physiology or you will go through when you can go here. When a bacterium, when there is a bacterium, it joins with complement 3B. This is called opsonin. Opsonin, this complement C3, complement 3B is called opsonin. 
So joining of or adherence of bacterium with C3B leads to traction of phagocytes and then it joins with, this is a receptor molecule, this is a phagocyte and on the surface of phagocyte there is a receptor which is called a receptor molecule and this receptor has got an affinity for a complex of complement and bacterium or any other microbe. So activated C3B, it activates the complement system leading to pouring. Pouring means And what happens is there is entry of water into the cells and that entry of water into the cells leads to bursting of cell and finally there is destruction you can cause. So this is opsonization. We call it opsonization because of opsonin action. And what is opsonin? That is complement 3B. Complement 3B, which you call opsonin, that adheres, or you call bacterium, adheres to the complement. And this joining is attracted by receptors on the phagocyte. And when it is taken, it is phagocytosed. So other things are the role of complement is in the inflammatory process. They also leads they lead to increase of uh, histamine. So uh, this uh, uh, this was all about uh, the cells and the soluble proteins. Uh, we are now we want, I want to uh, talk about the lymphoid system. So the body has uh, a lymphoid system which is the important component or part of the immunity. But this is not the only uh, component. I have already told you innate immunity is not lymphoid system. Innate immunity, the cells of the component, they are present in the blood. They circulate in the blood and they reach the site of infection and inflammation for engulfment, for inflammatory process, for uh, dealing, uh, there's sometimes the chemical substance you call different types of chemokines and soluble proteins, they are released. Aajkal ek aur cheez hai, coronavirus mein just to assess the inflammatory process, whether it is a very severe process or a small, you go for estimation of C-reactive protein. Again, that protein is released in circulation and higher is the concentration, higher is the inflammation or severe is the inflammation. So, the test that we corona ka patient admit to the patient, we assess karne ke liye karte hain. Un mein se ek test is estimation of CRP and that is quantitative estimation. There are two methodologies, qualitative, whether CRP is present or not, you call it plus or no, that means negative. And if you write down quantitative, that means it quantifies the uh, level of CRP, C-reactive protein in the circulation. More or higher is the CRP or ESR even is also is an indicator. So higher is the severe is the inflammation. So CRP Rosana Kaitafa Dodafa, subject to the condition of the patient, we ask for quantitative estimation of CRP, which is a soluble protein, and that protein also plays a role in the immunity or innate immune system. So uh, phagocytosis or other processes involved in innate system, they are not a part of lymphoid system. Lymphoid system, which is related to T cells and B cells, and they belong to a uh, lymphoid uh, lineage. Well, uh, the stem cells, they, uh, I'm sorry for a minute break. Medical education, while I do time to be physical, no, but it's with a man, skill, I'll sit in that. So, ask you, Bella, do you want to get a pharmacy? The occupants for any for a pharmacy, who any art? Next door, next door. But when they came here from Maripas, so you fell up for another Mahatam Tarunga. So we had a break. I'm sorry. Uh, but break is always good because the mammary cell does not work for a very, very long time. So there should be a break. Break to achieve. They can uh, in television page of break at the end of the 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 break. 
so uh, we were talking about lymphoid system this lymphoid system is not a part of uh, innate immunity it's a part of you you, you can call uh, it, it is also a part of innate immunity but uh, it, uh, the lineage is different it originates or the stem cell is lymphoid seeds or lymphoblast they're true uh, they develop in the bone marrow and they go to the bursa fabrics and uh, the thymus to produce the t cells and b cells ye ek slide hai jisme bahut si so you can see this system is lymphoid system starting from head to toes and that is you have got adenoids tonsils clean fire patches and there are mucosa associated lymphoid system you call uh, m a l t or uh, the, the uh, lymphoid system or which is associated with uh, the t cells which are associated with the mucosa of intestine you call it gut or g a l t gut associated uh, lymphoid uh, tissue and similarly uh, mucosa associated or uh, other which is associated with other membrane for example uh, this respiratory uh, member membrane ke sath jo associated hota hai usse you can call respiratory associated uh, lymphoid uh, system or lymphoid uh, tissue t is the word which is properly used uh, well uh, in this slide if you see why i telling the inflammatory process you can say there is an association although that is also protective response so you you can call it plays to limit the uh, infection or inflammation whether you for example the lymph is a subs is a fluid which has got lymphocytes and it circulates in the lymphatic channels the lymphatic channels they have got lymph nodes in between so agar yahan pe paon pe ek injury hoti hai to usually in the groin or uh, a lymph node over here becomes swollen or infection baki sari uh, systemic infection nahi ho so this is how it limits uh, the process so the lymphoid system you can say it includes the lymph nodes and lymph nodes ki i am not going to go into the detailed anatomy of that it have got different places for t cells and for different places for dealing uh, the b cells another is this gut associated lymphoid tissue and this this is spleen it has got red pulp and white pulp and these two pulps these they 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 lead to uh this uh, degradation or uh, of uh, white cells so white cells the white pulp has been ki wo aapke white cells ko uh, remove karti hai so ek aksar question aa jata hai ki give a tabulated uh, difference between cell mediated immunity and antibody mediated immunity in fact this slide should not be over here ye zara pehle lag gayi hai जब तक आप एंटीबॉडी मीडियट इम्यूनिटी नहीं पढ़े उस वक्त तक आप इसके डिफरेंस नहीं जान सकते तो गिविंग इट ओवर हियर बट द सेल मीडियट इम्यूनिटी में मैंने बताया था आपको एक चीज तो ये भी वो तरीका है कि एंटीजन प्रेजेंटिंग सेल इज माइक माइक्रोफेज इट बाइंड्स टू द टी सेल्स एंड द हेल्पर टी सेल्स बिकम्स द एक्टिवेटेड एंड बिकम्स अ किलर सेल तो माइक्रोफेज has it uh, this on the surface it displays antigen aur ye jab display karke ye complex banta hai to jo wo t cells hai it becomes activated so macrophage is already activated hota hai when it has expressed molecules to attract the t cells तो वो एक्टिवेटेड मैक्रोफेज जब ज्वाइन करता है टी सेल से दैट टी सेल कन्वर्ट्स इनटू हेल्पर टी सेल एंड हेल्पर टी सेल एक्टिवेट्स करता है किलर टी सेल को या बी सेल को द किलर टी सेल इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एन इंफेक्टेड सेल 
So this is how there is disruption and destruction of the microbe. Yahan pe a core question at times is there uh, that what is the role of major histocompatible complex one and two in immunity? So SCQs may agar ye sawaal aa jaye ki what is the role of MHC or major histocompatible complex class one and class two in immunity? Usme aapne ye slide agar aapko yaad rahe to you can give a description of that. It's very simple. Don't. Uh, this is a macro page entry of this uh, bacterium into the macrophage and this is bacteria bound i the title is what is the major histocompatible complex class one and class two one the macrophages and the b cell remember one thing it is very important class two molecules or mhc class two molecules are responsible for they play a role in macrophages and b cells Whereas class one molecules are expressed when a cell ingests virus. So bacterium ke liye macrophages or B cells to have wo role play karte hain and those cells which want to degrade that microbe or bacterium, usme there is expression of class two molecules on their surface. So the second thing is. If a cell become infected with virus, as it is seen in this third portion, so when the virus gets infection or the cell become infected with virus, so what happens is there is expression or extrusion. You use the word instead of expression. It is better that a molecule is extruded on the surface. And that molecule is called MHD class one type. So this is class uh, two type of molecule. So the bacterium, the macro, this is bacterium. This is macrophage. The bacterium enters into the macrophage. It joins with the uh, that uh, class two MHC molecule, and finally this. Activates T cells. There are two types of T cells. This is the second point which you need to remember when you write down a note on MHC class one and class two molecule. The first difference I told you that the bacterium they are they 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 extrude class two molecule, MHC class two molecule. Whereas the virus infected cell extrudes MHC class one molecule. The second difference. ये जो बैक्टीरियम और मैक्रोफेजेस और बी सेल में है यहां तक एक ही जैसा है एंट्री जॉइनिंग ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स तो ये जब दिस इज दिस एक्सक्लूडेड दिस इज यू कैन सी एमएचसी मॉलिक्यूल दिस येलो दिस इज अ मैक्रोफेज एक्टिवेटेड मैक्रोफेज सो टीएच1 एंड टीएच2 सो टी सेल H1 and H2. There are two types of T cells. T helper one, T helper two. T helper two plays a role in degradation of bacterium, which is related to B cell. So B cell, जो bind करता है, as it is binding over here in the first slide, so extreme left. So ये जब bind करता है, this is a why is an an immunoglobulin. So B cells they exclude immunoglobulin. So when antigen enters, there is antigen antibody complex and ingestion. Or वो फिर दोनों चीजें that antigen antibody molecule plus MHC class two molecule. So ये चीज तीन चीजों का combination B cells का that is activated by helper two cell. So helper two T cell. तो तीसरा फर्क यह है कि इन दोनों में टी सेल है और आखिर में जो है इसमें वायरस में एम एच सी क्लास वन हिस्टोकम्पेटेबल कॉम्प्लेक्स क्लास वन मॉलिक्यूल इज एक्सक्लूडेड 
whereas, whereas in macrophages and B cell, it is class two. And the second difference is that uh, in bacterium, there is activation by uh, T helper one, and uh, B cell is activated by T helper two. And activated macrophage or activated B cell, that will lead to destruction of the microbe. Whereas virus may, the only difference is that it is the class one molecule which well, now is the, uh, that is, uh, if you want to take a break for two minutes, I can. Do you want? Okay. Uh, the second type of immunity, which is uh, called adaptive immunity, but related to antibodies. So one is innate immunity. The other is acquired immunity. You need to know the tabulated difference between uh, innate immunity and acquired immunity. The other thing is the acquired immunity is of two types. One is cell mediated and other is humoral immunity or antibody mediated, P cell related immunity. So we talked about P cell related immunity till now. So I told you very clearly that the important things, whether it is innate immunity or it is uh, Acquired immunity and amongst the acquired immunity, whether it is cell mediated or it is neural immunity or antibody mediated. So these two three types, they uh, they are different, but they all are a part of general knowledge or immune system. Ek ye hai, this slide shows that what the one word is in antigen. So what is the nature of antigen? Antigen is a substance that has got the capacity or capability to induce or to initiate the formation of antibodies. This word antigen, in fact, any substance which when introduced or enters into the body and capable of producing antibodies against it, once it is recognized, the antigen is recognized by the immune system, that it is foreign to the body. It is not a self, it's not a part of your body. So, So, the nature of antigen, that means antigen, it is antigen. Gen means generation, anti means anti. It can be any substance which Stimulates or uh, the or uh, that is recognized by the immune system and stimulates uh, the immune system and initiates to produce antibodies to generate antibodies is called it. Well, the second thing I told you the antigen once entered this is a red cell uh, uh, the red cell has got antigen on its surface. I don't want to go, but uh, it's very common nowadays. Blood transfusion may the antigens, there are two types of ABO and RHC. ABO system is of bath either the surface has got a type of antigen you call A blood group, positive when it is RH positive, or B or both the antigens are on the surface of red cells, you call A, B, and if there is no antigen, you call it O. That is the reason. When there is no antigen, naturally, if a red cell having no antigen on its surface enters into the body of another person, as there is no antigen, it does not initiate any uh, response and no antibodies are produced. So that is the reason you call that O blood group people are the universal donors. Aaj maine ye baat sirf isliye ki hai corona therapy mein bhi ek aaj kal plasma therapy is very important. What is that plasma therapy? But usually it is better if the same blood group person plasma is given to the patient. The patient. Corona ka patient hai agar aur wo recover ho chuka hai aur uske andar antibodies maujood hain. Wo antibodies are called natural antibodies because badi mehnat se uske jism ne antibodies ko produce kiya hai, adaptive uh, response hai, or nature has given him a chance either to go 
back to the creator or to recover. And once he recovers, the IgG are there. IgM is the first immunoglobulin. We talk about that. लेकिन यहाँ पे ये है कि जब प्लाज्मा थेरेपी देते हैं तो ये मैं इसलिए जरा यहाँ रुक गया तो बेहतर ये है कि सेम ब्लड ग्रुप का पेशेंट वो रिकवर्ड वो डोनर बन सकता है ज्यादा बेहतर है बिकॉज यू आर गिविंग प्लाज्मा देर आर नो रेड सेल्स बट सर्टन नंबर ऑफ रेड सेल्स दे स्टिल आर प्रेजेंट इन द प्लाज्मा इफ इट इज नॉट सेपरेटेड ऑन अ प्लाज्मा फोरिसिस मशीन एक प्लाज्मा फिनिशिस मशीन है जो बहुत वेरी एक्सपेंसिव एंड आई एम श्योर इट इज ओनली अवेलेबल एट वेरी फ्यू सेंटर्स इफ प्लाज्मा इज सेपरेटेड ऑन दैट मशीन इन विच द होल ऑल द सेलुलर एलिमेंट्स गोस बैक इनटू द डोनर सिर्फ प्लाज्मा ले लेते हैं और वो आप थेरेपी के तौर पे यूज कर रहे हैं ट्रायल्स आर गोइंग ऑन दैट इज कॉल्ड प्लाज्मा थेरेपी but uh, better it is if it, the group is same but the other blood group can be used people they are not using because aisa na ho usse koi reaction ho jaye aur uske upar antigen ho jo reaction cause kar sake for example if the donor is a and the recipient is b there could be a cross reaction and jaye corona ke wo bechara cross reaction se na the other thing is antibody antibody is produced in response to antigen it has got two chains i am not going into the details you know it already right chain and heavy chain and there are variables and this is the constant region so this variability at this step of light and heavy chain this is heavy chain this is light chain and these are the antigen binding site so ye main is baat ko isliye bata raha hu zara thoda sa zyada एंटीजन बाइंडिंग साइट्स पे डिटर्मिनेंट्स जो है वो जाके अटैच होते हैं और रेकग्नाइज सो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इनोग्लोबल इन आई जी जी आई जी आई जी टी आई जी एम आई टी ए देर आर मोनोमेरिक मोनोमेरिक मीन दिस वाई दीज आर ऑल मोनोमेरिक डायमेरिक आई जी ए इज डायमेरिक और ट्राइमेरिक आई जी एम इज इमिनोग्लोबल इन दैट इज पेंटामेरिक तो एक से ज्यादा इम्यूनोग्लोबल मॉलिक्यूल जब ज्वाइन करें डायमेरिक हो या पेंटामेरिक हो तो मॉलिकुलर वेट उसका बढ़ता जाता है तो दिस स्लाइड आल्सो शोस दैट देयर इज देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिस्पांस वन इज कॉल्ड प्राइमरी रिस्पांस टू द एंटीजन एंड द अदर इज कॉल्ड सेकेंडरी रिस्पांस टू द एंटीजन अगेन आई गिव यू दिस लेटेस्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ कोरोना वंस इट एंटर्स इट इनिशिएट्स द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इम्यूनोग्लोबल एंड in early days the the igm this darker igm comes after few days it goes down zero and the igg igm and ig so this is called a primary response see what is this uh, secondary response ye isme dekhiye ye immunoglobulin g ka aap height dekhenge so it is the second response there is exaggerated response the igg are in a huge number or a huge quantity you can say so ye primary response abhi tak ye bhi hai ke certain people of corona virus they have got uh, either they want then they have symptoms they have got igm lekin once they recover they have got you know globulin g present in their blood and that इमोग्लोबलिन की कहते हैं न्यूक्लाइज करती है कोरोना एंटीजन लेकिन अभी तक थ्यूरीज हैं ये सब रिसर्च इज गोइंग ऑन हाउ मच टाइम डज इट स्टे इन द ब्लड इन केस ऑफ प्राइमरी रिस्पांस और इफ देयर इज रिकरेंस और देयर इज नो रिकरेंस देयर मे बी अ सेकंड रिस्पांस और सेकेंडरी रिस्पांस सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द क्वांटिटी और नंबर ऑफ आईजीजी मॉलिक्यूल व्हिच आर यूजफुल फॉर द रिसिपिएंट ऑफ कोरोना डिजीज ये मैंने पहले भी बताया इस पर ज्यादा देर नहीं रुकूंगा बिकॉज टाइम इज रनिंग वेरी फास्ट दैट प्लास बी सेल्स आल्सो एक्स एल ए पी सी वो भी जब ज्वाइन uh, करते हैं किसी बैक्टीरिया को तो व्हाट हैपेंस इज दिस देयर आर टू रिस्पांस वन इज दैट दे लीड टू डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड अदर इज द मेमोरी तो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं दो रिस्पांस हो सकते हैं कि वंस द बैक्टीरियम ज्वाइंस द बी सेल द हेल्पर टी सेल्स की मदद से दिस बी सेल बिकम्स आइदर अ प्लाज्मा सेल टू प्रोड्यूस एंटीबॉडीज 
यहाँ पे ये देखें यू कैन सी एंटीबॉडीज प्रोडक्शन और द सेकेंड रिस्पॉन्स इज के वो इंस्टेड ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग एंटीबॉडीज इट ट्रांसफॉर्म्स इन टू अ मेमोरी सेल तो मेमोरी सेल का मतलब ये है कि उसके अंदर मेमोरी दुश्मन को पहचानने के लिए एक मेमोरी डेवलप हो गई है दैट सेल कैन रिकॉग्नाइज द एंटीजन इफ देयर इज अ सेकंड एंट्री एंड कैन डील विद इट सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अ मेमोरी सेल वेल आई टोल्ड यू दैट देयर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इम्यूनोग्लोबुलिन the 75% component of total immunoglobulin is IgG and IgM they are more important this is the first immunoglobulin which starts appearing once there is uh, the patient faces uh, any antigen it's found in the blood and the lymph it's the first antibody to be secreted after infection and it stimulates the agglutination process and activation of complement whereas IgG 75% of IgG is found in blood lymph and intestine it also it is a it is a usually it neutralizes toxins that is the reason we are saying that plasma therapy can help the corona patients because if igg is good enough uh, and is given in uh, the, uh, present in the plasma and that plasma is given to the patient that will neutralize the corona antibody so neutralizing if it is a neutralizing antibody still the research is going on but uh, hopefully inshallah maybe uh, in few months time or a year will have a clear knowledge about that but this iga remember three the three char hai ige se jo baat hai ek yaad rakhne ki ki ige is released by basophil and it is uh, increased in allergic reactions in parasite igm immunoglobulin m is the first immunoglobulin which appears and function is that it stimulates the glutenation process and activates complex the second immunoglobulin which appears and to deal with the infection that is igg and it stays there but remember aap ise ek asool na samajh le for example we ask for hepatitis c virus the igg present against hepatitis c virus is called anti hc and presence of anti hc we only reflects that the person has previous exposure to hepatitis c virus it is not a, a, a used uh, to cure the chronic liver disease because of uh, hepatitis c virus so ye neutralizing hai ya uh, immunity ke related hai aur uh, long term immunity hai uh, aap the person of uh, cld or chronic liver disease is not immune if igg are present it only tells you it's of diagnostic important lekin ab agar ye neutralizing antibodies hogi to ye therapeutic importance bhi iski so these are the immunoglobulins which i wanted to tell you lymphocytes we were already talked this cd4 do tarah ke hain helper 1 which activates macrophages and helper 2 uh, activates b cell cd19 is uh, this is the factor b it, it, it uh, stimulates b cells so neutralization or t cells may cytotoxic t cells the cdl kehte hain and that is the age so another question we you can face in uh, as an asoc sq in uh, your examination that enumerate the differences between cell mediated and neural immunity important thing is this is cell mediated this is antibody mediated t cells are involved in cell mediated t cell with neural immunity antibodies are there or you can call the proteins uh, antibodies or is major proteins both and these are called the cytokines or chemokines protein and the response this is against sexual cellular and this is against intracellular how do you acquire immunity dr mr dominant list so ye ye baat jo main kal kar raha tha aapse ki how do you acquire immunity so there are two ways to acquire one is called active immunity the other is passive immunity ye tasra isliye karna zyada zaruri main samajh raha hu because aajkal bahut shor sun rahe hain passive immunity ka तो क्या है पैसिव इम्यूनिटी पैसिव मींस एक्टिव एंड पैसिव आर द इंग्लिश वर्ड्स एक्टिव मींस द इम्यूनिटी व्हिच इज इनिशिएटेड वंस अ पैथोजन एंटर्स एंड द बॉडी हैज टू डू समथिंग तो एक्टिवली बॉडी को काम करना पड़ रहा है जैसे कोरोना कोरोना इज एन एक्ट जो मरीज कोरोना का है उसमें जो इम्यूनिटी अगर पैदा हुई है बाद में तो दैट इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी 
इसी में अगर आप इसकी वैक्सीन जो बनाने के बारे में सोच रहे हैं वो भी नेचुरल होगा कि हम कोरोना को लेके उसकी पैथोजेनिसिटी को खत्म कर दें लेकिन एंटीजेनिसिटी बरकरार रखें और वैक्सीन बना दें अदरवाइज अगर पैथोजेनिसिटी मौजूद होगी तो पेशेंट तो कोरोना का पेशेंट बन जाएगा सो दैट इज कॉल्ड अ वैक्सीन तो वट इज अ वैक्सीन इनफैक्ट जिसमें पैथोजेनिसिटी नहीं होती बट एंटीजेनिसिटी होती है तो इनिशिएट एंटीबॉडीज दिस तो ये नेचुरल वे है एक पैसे है जिसमें बॉडी का काम नहीं करना पड़ता तो आपकी अपनी एंटीबॉडीज नहीं होती बल्कि उधार की मांगे की एंटीबॉडीज होती हैं फॉर एग्जांपल बच्चे में अगर इम्यूनिटी पहले छह महीने में आती है थ्रू मिल्क और थ्रू प्लेसेंटा दैट इज अचुरल पैसे इम्यूनिटी विच नेचर हैज एंड सिमिलरली इसीलिए सुनत है कि द बेबी शुड बी फेड ब्रेस्ट फेड फॉर एटलीस्ट इन एटीन मंथस टू इयर्स बिकॉज छह महीने तक तो वो एंटीबॉडीज हैं जो ब्लड में आ जाती हैं लेकिन उसके बाद मिल्क से भी वो एंटीबॉडीज बच्चा लेता रहता है और सेफ रहता है दिस इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल वे ऑफ एक्वायरिंग पैसिव इम्यूनिटी आर्टिफिशियल वे ऑफ एक्वायरिंग पैसिव इम्यूनिटी इज जो मैंने कल बताया था कि आप बनी बनाई इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन तो पैसे मीन्स आपको कुछ नहीं करना पड़ रहा मांगे की उधार की एंटीबॉडीज हैं आया वो मदर से आई है या आपने लैब में बनाई है अगर लैब में बनाई है देर कॉल्ड artificial antibodies so passive immunity can be acquired by uh, giving immunoglobulins at the time of birth in premature children and you can prepare a vaccine uh, nowadays uh, much work is going on for synthesis of monoclonal antibodies against coronavirus agar wo ban gayi monoclonal antibodies to wo antibodies will be artificial uh, immunity to usme wo dene se मरीज को बचाया जा सके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट जनरल इम्यूनोलॉजी विल स्टार्ट विद स्पेशल इम्यूनोलॉजी नेक्स्ट सेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लेस क्या आज कुछ इसकी कंफ्यूजन रही मैडम मैं यहां मेरे पास भी यही है 49 से पहले वाला यही है